It's a frantic race to the finish. It is all hands on deck right now, turning out the vote. With control of the House and the Senate, the ultimate prize. I think we'll take back the House and the Senate. The GOP only needs to pick up a handful of seats to win the House, and breaking up the 50-50 split in the Senate, now controlled by Democrats, will come down to a few states. This is a tough election season. It's a midterm election. Uh, but I still see a pathway for us to maintain control of the Senate. What happens in Pennsylvania could set the tone. Three presidents traveled there this weekend, with Biden and Obama rallying behind the Democrat, Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman, and Trump stumping for the Republican, Dr. Mehmet Oz. On the issues, Democrats are talking about abortion rights, protecting Social Security, and threats to democracy. The closing arguments for Republicans center on the economy and inflation. This is going to be a wake up call to President Biden and I hope he answers it. Polls have tightened in recent days with predictions the Senate races in New Hampshire and Nevada could be toss ups. Arizona and Wisconsin remain neck and neck. And if it all comes down to Georgia with a third party candidate in that race, if no one gets the majority, control of the Senate could hang in the balance until a runoff in December. Gaynor Hall, WGN News.